you know, a person could be connected to you in the flesh, but be your enemy in the spirit and can enable they were related. Look at even on Jacob and Esau, the, the man they called Israel, but he was Esau's enemy. So it does not necessarily mean that, that it's people who don't know God, but it's everyone can, anyone can be your, your friend in the flesh, your connection in the flesh, your family in the flesh, but yet be your enemy. You will see how they talk about people. You will see how they deal with their relationships, that everybody is always wrong, but they never could make a mistake or, or do better. They're, they're, they're people who just never admit that they could be wrong. They're your enemy. And anybody who hurt anybody, who tried to destroy anybody through friendship is the highest, highest form of evil. But then the reverse is true. A person could seem to be your 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 enemy in the flesh, but your friend in the spirit. These are the kind that's going to tell you the truth. They're going to tell you you were wrong. You were no good. Behave yourself. Do better. They they will they will they're not going to play around with this thing. They have integrity. You will see them coming. You know what they're going to talk about? Oh no, here they come again. The 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 party poopers. But they may seem to hurt you um, in the flesh. But in the spirit, they're the best friend you ever had in your life. Remember how our, our parents were? And we thought, oh my God, let me hide that belt. Oh my goodness. But oftentimes, it's that discipline that they gave you that is saving your life today. So you should know them by their fruit. You can have an enemy in the flesh and be your friend in the spirit. And you can have, which mainly happens to us which mainly causes our downfall, is having a friend in the flesh, but an enemy in the spirit. Father God, I pray that all of us who are trying to do our best lives and trying to hold on to your unchanging hand, Lord, shall have the insight of oh God, shall understand, Lord, shall have the witness as to who is on their side, oh Father God. Let us, oh Father God, separate, oh God, the wheat from the chaff, those who come to help, those who come to harm. Move them out of our lives, oh Father God, and reveal them right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you, we love you, and adore you. And in your holy name we say, amen. Amen. Thank you.